Welcome Protege. In the previous tutorial we showed you how to create scalars. And I know I said we were going to show you matrix operations in this tutorial. But first we need to show you how to create 1D, 2D, and multi-dimensional matrices. First I'll show you how to create a row vector. Let's create a variable x. Then we want square brackets. And just add a space in between each number and hit enter. So now we created this row vector. Let's see what it looks like. And this is how MATLAB stores a row vector. This can be whatever size you want so we can add more numbers to this array. Next I'll show you how to create a column vector. Again, you want to use the square brackets. And instead of a space between each number, you want to put a semicolon. Let's see how MATLAB stores this. Again, this, this column vector can be whatever size you want it to be. You can also do a row or column vector of zeros. And to do that, you use what's called a, the zero command. And this will create a, a row vector of 10, 10 zeros. If we want to do a column vector, we just switch those two numbers. Next I'll show you how to create 2D vectors. And to do that we kind of combine the row and column syntax. One, two, three will be on the first row. Then we add a semicolon to go to the next row. And now we're on row 2. Semicolon to go to the third row. And bam! We have a 2D matrix. And I'll show you how that's stored and how, how MATLAB stores this. You can also index into this 2D matrix. You can also do this with uh, any size matrix. And to index into a matrix, do the matrix you want to index into, then use parentheses, and then the element. So if I, if I want to grab 1, I would type row 1, comma, column 1 and it should return 1 and it does. Give you another example if I want to re read out this element in the matrix I do it's in row 3 column 3 and it should return 9 and yep. Next I'll show you how to create 3D matrices for this one we kinda want to extend our 2D matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, another variable for our 2D matrix. Let's call this one T. And to do the the next 2D matrix in the 3D array, we need to do parentheses, semicolon, comma, semicolon, comma 2. Let's change these values around some. And notice how it returns the first 2D matrix within the 3D matrix. 
and also turn, returns the matrix that you just made. So let's see how MATLAB stores this one. Just like the 2D array, you can index into 3D arrays. Again, we want to use parentheses and then the element that you want to index into. If we want to return this number, that's in row three, column three, and the second 2D matrix within the 3D matrix. And this should, should return 17. Yep. So let's say we created this array for the first 2D matrix and then we go ahead and create I'm going to change up this the second 2D matrix to show you what happens if you don't have the correct dimensions. I'm just going to hit the up arrow key to go to the last command that we did to create that matrix. And I'm going to erase these last few numbers. And we get a dimension mismatch because we only have a 2 by 3 matrix and it, it is expecting a 3 by 3 matrix. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to what it was. You can also concatenate matrices together. I'm going to go ahead and create two two separate 2D matrices. So we have A, I'll create B. And now we want to combine A and B. And we use a function called cat, C-A-T. So when you pass in 1 into the first argument, this will concatenate B underneath A. So we have the A matrix here, and it places B right underneath that matrix. Let's change the first argument to 2 and see what happens. And this will concatenate B to the side of A. So again, we have the A matrix right here and it puts the B matrix to the right of the A matrix. Let's change the first argument to 3. And this creates a 3D matrix. So since we have A first, that is the first dimension, and B is our second dimension within the 3D matrix. One last thing I want to cover in this video is how to assign new values to a certain element within your within your matrix. First I'm going to show you how to do it with this X row vector. And if we want to change say the last element, we want to do parentheses then type in what element you want to change. So this is row one, column eight, equals, and then another value, say 100. And you can see that the, the element in row one, column one, column eight, changed to 100. You can also change it in the column vector we made. Say we want to change this element, we would do y, parentheses, row 3, column 1, equals, equals the value you want to change it to. And bam, you see that it got changed to 50. You can also do it within your 2D matrix, following the same, same concept as before. Let's see what, uh, what 2D matrix we made. We have V, 
B is a 2D matrix. Say we want to change this element. So we do V of row 3, column 2 equals the number you want to change it to. And lastly, I'll show you how to change it in a 3D matrix, which you should be able to figure out. We have T was a 3D matrix. Say I want to change this element, and that is T of row 2, column 2, and dimension 2 equals some number. And it changed. That's it for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe below or leave a question or comment.